assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to learn the impact of microplastic on environment and what we can do to reduce plastic pollution let's first try to explore a little more about plastic plastic is a kind of material that is made by people and can be formed into almost any shape most plastics are strong long lasting and lightweight they resist damage by water heat chemicals and electricity in addition plastic can be made in many colors there are more than 50 types of plastic um, just look around you how many things can you find that aren't made from plastic or packaged in plastic plastics have many uses they have improved medicine made space travel possible and helped save lives by being used in items like bicycle helmets now let's see what is the role of plastic in spreading pollution on land and water because most plastics are so easy and cheap to make many people use them once and throw them away for example plastic bags plastic knives straws bottles plates etc these are called single use plastics around 40% of all plastic objects made every year are single use plastics they are very wasteful and may stay in the environment for hundreds of years No place on earth is left untouched by plastic pollution. Have you ever heard of microplastic? Well, microplastic are tiny bits of plastic that are less than 5 mm in size. Often they are too small to be seen. Sources of microplastic include breakdown of larger plastic fragments over time, UV radiation, mechanical forces in the sea, and direct release of microplastic into waterways. Microplastic are ubiquitous in our environment. They are in our air, drinking water, food and our environment. They have been found in every area. They can spread through all the water on the planet. Experiments show that microplastics damage damage aquatic creatures as well as turtles and birds. They block digestive tracts, diminish the urge to eat and alter feeding behavior. all of which reduce growth and reproductive output their stomachs are stuffed with plastic and some species starve and die these pictures clearly show the hazardous how hazardous the microplastic is for life in water and on land now what we can do to stop plastic pollution first refuse plastic whenever possible use reusable water bottles coffee mugs and bags bring your own glass container or mesh baggies and buy grains nuts and other items in the bulk section avoid items wrapped in excess plastic replace plastic items at home with alternatives made from natural materials for example bamboo toothbrushes glass jars wooden toys etc there are many organizations in pakistan that arrange beach cleaning activities for example sindh environmental protection society nestle cares and other ngos now children i am going to show you a video to uh, show you a few items that are commonly found in the garbage that is collected in our homes As you can see in the video there are a few items like uh, plastic and metal cans and jars that can be reused and uh, re uh, recycled for example they can be used in making pen holders there are uh, fruit and uh, vegetable peels that are biodegradable and are, are not harmful for the environment um, other than that you can also see that there are wrappers and packaged materials and cartons these are the items that are non biodegradable and are extremely harmful for our environment as you can also see in the video 
there are um, shopping plastic shopping bags the use of these bags are also uh, discouraged and should be limited instead we should use biodegradable bags children it's your turn to find out what could you do differently in your daily life to reduce the amount of plastic you use and throw away here are a few suggested links to um, get further clarity of the concept i hope you like today's video thanks for watching